Hey everybody, it's Wednesday evening, so you know what that means. It's Pop Dust Presents. And today is actually a super special one because it's the final Pop Dust Presents of the year. Okay, we got the holidays coming up, the last one of 2017. The final countdown. And today we've got our first guest kicking it off. I think I think today we got we got three artists coming in, but we are starting off. Uh, with the best, the bravest. Uh, this is Heather Brave and her band. They're gonna play some songs, and then I'll come back and we'll chat about stuff. Um, what are you gonna play for us today? Or you don't have to reveal it, but. Do you mind? But you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Okay. It's called Oz. It's called Oz. Yeah, it's me. I'm also obsessed with the Wizard of Oz. I want to be Dorothy. It's like this whole big thing. Wear the Dorothy dress every day. Um, which, which stop lying to me. <laughs> I want to be Tim. Tim, 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 Toto. Damn. All right, this next one is like. You want to be Toto now? Yeah. <laughs> Not again. That actually leads me to my first question, which is, did you intentionally make a single that rhymes with your name? No, and no one's asked me that before. I like to. I get right to the right to the hard Yeah, it's just like serious business here. Yeah. Um, serious business that popped us. Um, so, yeah, no, I didn't intend for that to happen, and I didn't really notice it until people started asking me, like, "Oh, you sing? Okay, like, I want to look up your stuff and everything." I'll be like, "Yeah, it's like way back in the brave." It's people remember it super easily now. That's pretty smart. Yeah. And you could do like Heather, like like weather, weather, yeah, Heather, maybe, or, yeah, or feather, there's other sure. Feather. Yeah, my nickname when I was like seven was Heather Feather. I should, I should take notes on this one. You should yeah. take notes. Um, yeah, so That's all kinds of opportunities. Um, so you've got this excellent band with you. Uh, I'd love to meet you guys if you could please introduce yourselves in alphabetical order. That's Toto. That's <clears> the <throat> lion. Um, that's the scarecrow. Back to you. Back to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not exactly alphabetical, I don't think. But, I know, um, I know. But, but yeah, uh, that, and so you have a fascination with Wizard of Oz. Wait, as, can they say their names first? Sorry. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so they're, they're, they're real names. Yes. I'm um, Ben. Actually, going alphabetical? Nah. Well, that is alphabetical. Okay, I, by, by first or last name. <laughs> so, Jamie. I still go first. Hi, uh, my name's Jamie. Jamie Petrelli. Vin Landau. Vin? Yeah. Okay, so we got. We got Ben on the drums, uh, Jamie and Vin on the guitars. Mm -hmm. Are you are, are one of you normally on bass or? Oh, I see. I don't. We all play dramatically. <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing great over there though with the with the, the Martin. You got a Martin versus Taylor square off over here. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's a rivalry. I love the drum box too. It sounds nice. sick. Um, but like a wave, super duper duper catchy. Thank you. Um, how did that come about? Because I read on the internet that it was like a very, very fast writing session. Everything just yeah, sort of clicked. Yeah, yeah, so true. Um, I also thought it was super funny. We wrote it uh, probably about like a year ago. We wrote it in December. And the song is called Like Waves. So I thought it was funny that we wrote a very summery song in the middle of the winter in New York. Um, but yeah, I was with my producer, Jace Blankfort, and these two other guys that go by A plus A. And we just like, the song wrote itself because it had this vibe to it, so all we had to do was let it happen and let it be free and come to fruition. And yeah, it was super fun. And there was a lot of dancing. You don't usually dance when you're writing a song, or, but there was a lot of like really intense dance moves happening. Like in the studio? Yes. Everybody was intensely, like violently dancing. Yes, actually. And if you met these people, like, you would totally understand, but um, I was, when I was recording the demo, they would be standing behind me dancing like crazy people. Oh, that sounds that sounds very uh, d productive. It that was extremely good. productive. Yeah. Um, so that that's uh, really interesting. And now there's so that song is on Spotify and everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then I noticed there's like two really popular remixes that have yeah. come out. Um, I don't know how, how does that happen to people who just come across it and they they wanted to. Put a spin. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like so so lucky because I think remixes are awesome. And yeah. Mads and Offbeat both did one, and yeah, and they they, they, they took it in really such good. different directions, yeah. but they're also really energetic and cool. So, um, yeah, I'm grateful that the song keeps living on in all these different ways. And so we spoke a bit about guitars a moment ago. I believe that your musical journey 
Um, you are were a guitarist as well. Yeah. We are a guitarist, and um, you know I did a lot of digging. We prepared for months before these interviews, and it was a purple guitar. Right? Yeah, it was. It's, it's yeah, safe. It was. yeah, yeah. You know, we went back forensic yeah. details, and that was interesting to me because I actually too also have a purple guitar, and so uh, I that 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 touched right. me like a wave, and, and that was perfect. <laughs> And the first song you played was Hey Jude. Yes, yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and so what was sort of your journey from there to all of this? Yeah, well, I, once that happened, once I got that amazing, gorgeous purple guitar, like, I was so enthralled with it and wanted to learn everything I could. And really, I knew from the get-go that I was playing guitar so that I could explore songwriting in a totally different way and, and really develop in that sense and I just I listened to a ton of Regina Spector and Ingrid Magnuson and all those people. They're both huge fans of the show by the way and, well, I, and, I, and I love Regina so that's great. Yeah even if you're not Regina you're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah so yeah I think I just tried to like educate myself. I did a lot of looking up chords online and covering stuff and just kind of snowballed from there. That's impressive. Um, I, I, self self teaching anything, you know, is like, yeah. you know, and uh, and the the vocals are amazing. Thank you. So I guess, and that was you were around fifteen, and then is that when you relocated to L.A. or? Yeah, so it's, it's so tricky. So I grew up in Jersey, super Me close. Me too. Oh my god. Jersey, Bergen oh, County. Okay. Yeah. Is, I, that, I was, is that like a yeah, me? I don't know. I don't know. I'm the, I was a I was dirty south in oh, okay. Cumberland That's like, County, and so I didn't know anything else. You know, yeah, I'm like trapped in the Pine Barrens down there, uh -huh. and you don't you don't see a lot of other culture. And I I hightailed it out of there to New York City. Mm -hmm. Got this indentured servitude gig with Pop Dust. You know, I I live here and everything. In and this I, room. Yeah, and then yeah. and then I get to talk to to people when they come in, mm -hmm. and. But yeah, so then you came to LA. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when I was 15, or yeah, like 15, 16, I started going out to LA just to like, see how it was. And I was writing at Capitol Records and was meeting all these different writers and everything. And um, yeah, it was kind of like a really great opportunity to go see a different city and have that impact me as a person and creatively and work with people who I would not have met otherwise. And yeah. um, eventually, I came back here. A year ago, actually, a year and a half ago, and I just there's like a grit to New York that I really missed, but I'll always go back to LA. I'm actually going there on Friday, but yeah, I just I really appreciate some like this New York craziness. Me too, and we interview a lot of people who are you know from LA or relocated to LA, and I'm like, what well, is New York not good enough? For you? <laughs> No, oh, because it, this the perfect sunshine and the yeah. you know, but it seems like for songwriters and everything, there's tons of opportunities. Totally. And so that's cool. And then how'd you uh, end up with with these? Uh, cool. With these, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh it's a Jersey connection. Yeah, you know? true. Yeah, they say cool gets everywhere in Jersey, apparently. That's a lie. But anyway. <laughs> they yeah. Eat hoagies from Wawa. So. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. So um, my producer. Jace Blankford, he knows all these funny people, and we all like got in a room and we're trying to see if we really had a vibe, and now we do. <laughs> Is that yeah. one of the lyrics in the songs? Like, look at the, these vibes between us. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. wait, second verse. Yeah, it's about us. And then you force yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Look at that's pretty cool, huh? Right? And then and it, look at these vibes between us, and then you say, I don't care if they can see us. Now, are you talking about the vibes? If the vibes well, can see you? The vi no. Or if people, other people, onlookers. I don't care if other people can see these intense vibes happening. I see. Yeah. I yeah. see. Yeah. Changing the perspective. Uh -huh. Blowing my mind. Good. And actually, you're all about the, the lyrics. I think, um, you know, I had read that you, from the beginning, have been uh, really all about the, the writing something super important to you. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, I think when you, I was like so first originally inspired by singer songwriters and yeah. that like specificity that each artist has is so special and unique. So 
that's something that I really wanted to be a part of my own music. That's, I mean, yeah, that's great. And luckily, I guess you have a creative team around you that's allowing you to, you know, flourish in that direction, you know. But maybe you could just dumb it down and have somebody write you some some lyrics about, you know, with like some product placement <laughs> and the money. That's crazy. Shout out to our sponsors, by the way. Uh, Outback Steakhouse, where steaks go out back. Uh, Dan's holding up the Pop Dust Prosecco because we sponsor ourselves here <laughs> with alcohol. Um, so this, this when it, again, tying into the writing mm -hmm. and maybe tying into these uh, critters, these <laughs> kooks, um, <laughs> they're human beings, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, what is uh, this single, is it, it's the lead single, is, it, is there going to be an EP, is there going to be an LP? which a lot of people don't know, that's industry talk for album. And yes. yeah, <laughs> I like to drop truth bombs on them. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, yeah, so Like A Wave is a taste of, I've recorded a bunch of songs, so it's a taste of something more that's happening, that's already done, recorded, and like wrapped up in a nice little bow and everything. So um, I'm releasing a new song in January, right around my birthday, or a little bit after. Wait, 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 wait when's your birthday? <laughs> January 9th. I'm January 30th. I thought it was more... So are you not a Capricorn? Aquarius. No, you can't be friends. Uh, well, obviously. I mean, I was thinking that the entire time. I was like, we got a lot in common, but I... <laughs> There's so, something so up here. And it's the Zodiac sign. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever you call that. I don't actually really, you know, follow that. But. So you got a, so you got a new single coming out? Do we yes. even hear what it's called? Any, any tidbits? Any hints? Uh... I don't know. I, I really like secrets. I think secrets are so exciting. You, you seem full of secrets. That's like a, I feel like that's enough of, of like I that at least you know something's coming. What did you think about Star Wars: The Last Jedi? Oh, oh my gosh! So uh, many people yeah. are going to be mad at you right now. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no! What? No 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 no! No, I'm literally not going to say anything because I haven't seen any Star Wars. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I quit. I just, yeah, but, we already talked about this. But though. then again, she's full of secrets, and if we know anything about Star Wars, there's a lot of reveals later on. So yeah, maybe I'm Maybe right. you did. You have seen all of maybe them. I'm a maybe you're in the movie, and yeah. or we'll find out. But thank you guys so much for joining us today. Where can everybody hear you, find you online, follow you? I followed you, so if you don't follow me back, I'll be very sad. It's but a I Capricorn understand. Thing. It's a Capricorn thing. I can't. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh -huh. But tell everybody. Yeah. You know. um, Okay, so yeah, you can find my music on Spotify, Apple Music, all that fun stuff. And I'm on Instagram and Twitter. It's all at It's Heather Brave. That's me. Yeah, thanks for watching. Well, thank you for being a part of the last Pop Dust yeah, that's so 2017. Cool. You know, hey. save the best for last.